I wanted to make a video with all the uh, new updates on RGVA Riverside, RGVA San Antonio, Central Valley RGVA, uh, Mikey Garcia and Robert Garcia, like you see in this picture, uh, flew out to Colorado to visit Isaac Lunga, a fighter from their team, part of their team that was a victim of a uh, drive-by shooting. He went through surgery recently and uh, they went over there and uh, it seems he had some uh, advancement in his uh, recuperation. He was, he was, uh, He's talking a lot more, and uh, it sounds like he went through a uh, through a surgery, and, and, and things are looking positive. So uh, that's his father on the right hand side. He was uh, three and zero. He fought on Prospect Pride in January, and unfortunately, he uh, has a uh, bullet lodged in in his back or in his neck. And, um, I don't I don't have too many details, but uh, it definitely looks a lot better to see Isaac uh, smiling the way he is. So uh, God bless him, and uh, God bless the uh, Linda family. Mikey Garcia, 39 and 1, 30 knockouts. Uh, he will be holding an event in Isaac's honor to uh, support some of the financial burden. Uh, so all the proceeds from um, Legends Collide on June 23rd on, on, on Sunday at the uh, Club Center event in San Marino will go to uh, fund um, to help him and. The, the financial stress and the financial burden that's been put upon him um, based on this, uh, this, this tragedy. So uh, he is in his second week of camp at in San Carlos, San Francisco at the SNAP facility. He was up there with his nephew, Ita Garcia. So uh, they flew in from San Francisco. Robert flew in from wherever he was at. Uh, I don't know if he was in Riverside or not. So And then they flew back out. So if you want to follow uh, Mikey Garcia, his Instagram is at Team Mikey Garcia. You can also follow him on Twitter. Abner Morris, 31 and 3, with one draw. No update on him. He is uh, recovering from a detached retina that he suffered uh, in sparring in preparation for his fight in February, which he had to pull out of. So uh, hopefully, hopefully um, we'll hear more news on him. And if you want to follow him on Instagram, he's at Abner Morris Official. Jose Cito Lopez, 36 and 8, no updates on him. Um, but we did see him in the gym uh, doing some mitt work with uh, Carlos Licona. Uh, and we even saw Lindolfo's dad doing some mitt work with one of the other fighters. So he is in the gym. Um, very dedicated fighter. Uh, Frank Silva, the chef, says uh, one, he's one of the hardest working uh, fighters. Once he has a date, he's very focused with his diet, he's focused with his training. No-nonsense no type of guy. So, Jesus Lopez, 36 and 8. He's a Riverside Rocky. He's a local fighter. Uh, I believe he's probably been with RGBA for four, four or five fights. Uh, he had a fight with Keith one time Thurman in January. Uh, he, he had a very, very successful seventh round uh, where he was pushing Keith Thurman on the ropes and making his neck snap back. So, Jesus Lopez, uh, you can follow him at Jose Lopez. On Instagram, Jose Carlos Ramirez, 24 and 0, 15 and 0. He is the WBC 140 pound champion. Uh, so there's a possible fight date of July 27th for him. He posts stuff all the time. He's very active on Instagram, and so are his trainers um, and his promoter, uh, Rick Marigian, and then his Charles Trembley, his trainer. So he's always fit. Uh, and then I think he also made a trip back to Riverside to start some actually boxing training. But he's always in great shape. WBC 140 pound champion from, I believe it's Avenal, uh, up north or Northern California. Um, so if you want to follow him, he's an Olympian from 2012 at JC Ramirez 2012. Brandon Bam Bam Rios, his last fight was in February, uh, 35 5 and 1. He lost versus La Torrita Soto, uh, his entire career with RGBA minus one fight. Uh, so if you want to follow him, he's at Brandon Rios 1. Uh, he is posting uh, him being active in the gym with uh, his trainer Jody Cuate. Uh, so there might that might be a hint of something, and it might not be. So we'll see. Brandon Bam Bam Rios, 35, 5 and 1. I believe he's from Garden City, Kansas, but uh, he, he lives he lives in Camarillo or in the Oxnard area now. At Brandon Rios, one on Instagram if you want to follow him. SK 
Viva Falcao, 23 and 0 15 knockout. His last fight was March 31st. Uh, Robert went out there to Brazil with him for that fight, and he's back in the he's back in Riverside training. Uh, he on Twitter called out Ryota Murata, and we'll see where that we'll see where that goes. Uh, 23 and 0 15 knockouts. Uh, also another uh, Olympian. I think he was a silver silver medalist for Brazil. So if you want to follow him, he's at Esquiva Falcao. He fights at 150. He's promoted by top rank. Eric De Leon, another top rank fighter, 19 and 0 with one draw, 10 knockouts. Uh, uh, we have not heard from him recently. Um, he usually fights twice a year. He is from Detroit, Michigan. So um, he's been fighting. He's been a professional fighter. It sounds like for 10 years now, where he's been fighting at 130. So that's. Uh, the level of dedication he has, he has not moved up to 135. He continues to make 130. At Team De Leon 1, if you want to follow him on Instagram. Carlos Caballo Bronco Adame, 17-0, 14 knockout. He is the newest addition, well, except for Ivan Garcia. He is the newest addition to RGBA Riverside. Uh, I believe he is uh, Dominican Republic. Uh, he fights at 154. He is the NABF and NABO champion. And he got a fourth round, fourth round knockout um, in New York on the Crawford Con card. And he's scheduled to fight June 28th at the Pechanga Casino and Resort in Temecula, California, in Southern California. So if you want to follow him, he's at Caballo Bronco. Fights at 154, promoted by top rank. 17 and 0, 14 knockouts. Hector Tanahara, 17 and 0, five knockouts. He is the WBC Youth Champion at 135. He won that belt versus Ivan. Delgado in Tijuana, February 23rd. He is uh, one of three fighters that signed a deal with Golden Boy Promotions back in 2015. Um, he is from San Antonio. There's, there he is with a picture with his dad. Uh, it sounds like they have a pretty strong amateur program starting in San Antonio as well at RGBA Riverside, uh, RGBA San Antonio. So if you want to follow him, he's at Hector underscore Tanahara. And if you want to follow his dad, I believe it's just the reverse, at Tanahara underscore Hector. So uh, from San Antonio, 17 and 0, Golden Boy promoted fighter, Hector Tanahara. Jonathan Thunder Navarro, uh, that's a typo on his uh, Instagram link. Uh, he's actually uh, at Thunder Navarro. Um, there you see him in a picture uh, at the gym, 16 and 0, eight knockouts. He last fought, I think it was last December at the at the Fantasy Spring Casino in Indio, where he had his first 10 rounder. So uh, no news from him. He's from East LA. Also fine with. Uh, also signed with Golden Boy Promotion. Joshua El Profesor Franco, 15-1-1. He just became the uh, WBA, WBA International and NABF belt holder champion. And uh, he just fought April 25th in India. So uh, he's back in the gym already. So uh, it's a very interesting, uh, very popular uh, weight class that he's in, 118. Now with uh, the fighters like uh, Inui, who fought on the world on the World Series of Boxing uh, in Scotland, in the uh, in the UK, uh, he goes by the nickname of Monster. And then the, there's also a couple other 118 pounders in his own gym, which is uh, Manny Gucci. Gucci goes by Gucci Manny Floyd. Um, and then there's also one more that's not coming from. So El Profesor Franco, he, uh, along with um, Hector Tanahara and along with uh, Jonathan Navarro, were signed with uh, Golden Boy Promotions back in 2015. So uh, 15 one one and you can follow him at one Profesor Franco. He's from San Antonio. He's the older brother to Jesse Bam Rodriguez. Carlos Lincona, 14 one two knockouts. Uh, he lost his belt recently in February. Um, to a fighter, I think his name was Jay Creel, and uh, yeah, Ellie shared via ES News that he might, that Jay Creel might be uh, considering uh, dropping those belts. So uh, Carlos Lincona from Westminster, California. Uh, his parents sound like it sounds like uh, he's from Odessa and his big sister for that out in Mexico. Um, Robert says he's in talks with Cancun Boxing for another fight for Lincona. So uh, he fights at 105. Uh, well, yeah, I think he, I think he was fighting at 108, but in order to uh, accept the challenge to fight for a for a title, he had to drop down to 105, uh, which he was able to do. So, if you want to follow him, he's at Mexicanito 12. He's one of my favorite fighters out of RGBA. He has a wonderful story uh, about not 
giving up about his dad um, saying he wanted to have him as a boxer full time and didn't want him to get a job in order to help with finances for the household. So he went around and picked, picked up cans around the neighborhood in order to come up with enough money to come up with gas money to drive from Westminster, California, where him and his family reside, all the way to Riverside. So what a wonderful story. When Robert found out that news, he um, offered Carlos a room in his house at the camp house there in, uh, in, in, in Riverside in order for him to save the money of the traveling expenses of the gas money. So wonderful story. Carlos and Kona, 14 and 1, two knockouts. If you want to follow him, he's at Mexican Eagle Club. He also has a sister, Lina Cookie Lin Kona, who fights as well. I think she just fought in Tijuana a couple weeks ago and had a win. And there's a potential for her to be on the fight card on, on Legends Collide. Virgil Ortiz Jr., 13 and 0, 13 knockouts. One of the most exciting fighters out of the gym. Um, fights at 140. He had his first fight at 147 versus Mauricio Herrera. He uh, knocked him out, I believe, in the well, didn't technically knock him out, but stopped him. It goes down as a KO, but the ref uh, intervened and uh, in the fourth round on the Canelo undercard, so it was on the Zone platform. Virgil Ortiz is uh, trained by his father, by uh, Hector Beltran, and by Robert and Tita Garcia. He uh, is out of Grand Prairie, Texas, the Dallas area, and he is promoted by Golden Boy Promotions. So if you want to follow him, he's at Virgil Ortiz. Uh, and I believe his dad is at Virgil Ortiz Sr. SR. So uh, very, very, very uh, talented and very dedicated fighter. Virgil Ortiz Jr. doesn't doesn't do a lot of partying, doesn't do doesn't abuse the alcohol, doesn't abuse drugs, always is in shape, stays in the gym, he's really a gym rat, even when he doesn't have a fight. He's still working out six, seven times a week. So Virgil Ortiz Jr., look out for him. He is going to be a beast in the years to come. He's already a beast. So he's going to, we're, we're, I, I believe, and so does Robert, that they, they might he might have a title shot this year. At Virgil Ortiz Jr., if you want to follow him. Joseph Adolfo, 12 and 0, 10 knockouts, uh, posted on IG that his next fight date is July 13th. He is promoted by uh, Top Rank, along with his uh, little brother, uh, Jeremy Adorno. So if you want to follow him, he's at Real Joseph Adorno. I believe he fights at 130. Yeah, him, him and Eric De Leon and Isaac Lingo were the three fighters that fight at him uh, fight at 130. John El Terrible Bausa, 12 and 05 knockouts. If you want to follow him, he's at Real John Bausa. His last fight was March 17th. We have no update on that, on him. There you see him uh, with, with Sam from Top Rank. Uh, so he recently signed along uh, to RGBA Riverside at Real John Bausa. Louis Coria, 11, 2 and 0. Because it's a fight on Legends Collide there in uh, San Bernardino. If you want to follow him, he's at Team Louis 416. He is uh, a local fighter. Um, has probably had five, six, seven, eight fights with, um, with RGBA Riverside. 11, 2, and 0. Louis Correa, he fights at 135. Alejandro Pochop Guerrero, 10 and 0, 9 knockouts. He is scheduled to do another main event headliner. Um, on July 13th, he was the headliner on March 15th, the night before Mikey fought Errol Spence in Irving, Texas, in uh, Southern Junction nightclub. So it looks like they're going to use the same venue, uh, and then the new fight date is July 13th. So 10 and 0, 9 knockouts, Alejandro Pochop Guerrero from Dallas. Uh, if you want to follow him, he's at Pochop underscore 214. I believe he fights at 135. He's Ale Chino Rodriguez, 9 and 0, 4 knockouts. Has been in the gym, has been very active. Um, so I, ha I have suspicions that he might get put on the card with his stablemate, uh, Lindolfo Delgado, on June 1st in Linares. But nothing's been official. But he is in, he is in shape, and uh, I think he might land a fight on that card. So he's Ale Chino Rodriguez, 9 and 0, 4 knockouts. He's at Misael Lote. On Instagram, he is him and Lindolfo are promoted by Richard Schaefer's Ring Star Sports. Jesse Bam Rodriguez, 9 and 05 knockouts. On July 27th, he's going to headline his own show against an undefeated fighter, Cesar El Chapita Garcia, 11 and 0. The event will be near San Antonio in a city called Floresville. The special guest will be Mikey Garcia. And then uh, Biggie Rodriguez, a stable mate of his, will be on the card as well. The show is being uh, marketed as Young Guns, Who's O Will Go. So this is a big step up for Jesse Bam Rodriguez, a left-hander. This is a little brother to Joshua Franco. There in the picture you see his dad on the blue shirt on the left-hand side. And uh, if you want to follow him, he's at 210-BAM, fights at 108 Southpaw. From 
promoted by second promotion. This is the only fighter out of RGB uh, promoted by second. Just the hundred second promotion. Lindolfo Delgado, nine and nine and oh nine knockouts. He is scheduled to fight June first in Linares, Nuevo León. He's the big one of the big G's favorite fighters out of the gym. Uh, he and Misael Rodriguez are promoted by uh, Ringstar Sports. So he fights at one forty, and uh, he got a nice title. He got a nice uh, televised. Fight on the uh, Mike Garcia versus Errol Spence card. So go to him at Lindolfo Delgado if you want to follow him on Instagram. Genaro El Conde Gamez, 9 and 06 knockouts from San Diego. He, his next fight date is June 21st. I'm pretty sure that's going to be at the Fantasy Sports Casino in Indio. He's a Golden Boy uh, promoted fighter. I believe he made the move from 135 to 140, but he did uh, weigh in at 138. So it was just those two pounds that were giving him some problems. So, uh, Renato El Conde Gamez from San Diego, 9 and 06 knockouts, promoted by Golden Boy. Uh, if you want to follow him on Instagram, he's at Renato Gamez. Brandon Bulletproof Blanche, 9 and 07 knockouts. He just won. Um, he improved from 9 and 0. I believe he fought at 180, was his uh, was, was, was the fight weight. If you want to follow him, he's at Team Bulletproof. He is, um, he is being helped by Mikey Garcia Promotions. This was a uh, TGB uh, promoted fight in Biloxi, Mississippi. His opponent was Billy Cunningham. So, uh, if you want to follow uh, Brandon Bulletproof Blanton out of Atlanta, Georgia, at Team Bulletproof. Isidro Ochoa, 7 0 3 knockouts. He, was, he had uh, dieted and uh, did the majority of his training. And uh, for some reason, I don't know if it was him or his opponent that had to pull out of his fight, but he was scheduled to fight on uh, Abel Flores' card in Stockton. But unfortunately, uh, something happened and he was not able to fight. So if you want to follow him, he is uh, promoted by top rank at IGO underscore Ochoa. Ruben Rodriguez from Coachella, 6 and 0, 2 knockouts. He is scheduled to fight along with Caballo Bronco on the Pachanga uh, Resort and Casino in Temecula on June 28th. Uh, the main event on that top rank card is Richard Comey versus Ray Beltran. Uh, so he's being moved very, very well. He's already fought. A total of uh, two or three times this, uh, three times this year. He fought in January, fought in March, and fought again in April. So he's being moved very, very well. He fights at 140. Um, Ruben Rodriguez, six and zero. At Ruben N R underscore is his Instagram. If you want to follow him, Ray Danger Murataya, seven and zero, five knockouts. Uh, he fought on the Danny Garcia uh, versus Adrian Granados card at the Dignity Health Sports Park. Uh, he got the win, so he improved to seven and zero, five knockouts. He fought on Prospects Collide in January, so um, he got knockout of the year and he got a bonus from um, from Mikey and one of his sponsors. So if you want to follow him, he's at Ray underscore Murataya one. He is from Fontana, California, so he's he's a local fighter. And um, if you want to follow him at Ray underscore Murataya one. Aaron Morales is fight week for him. He is fighting on June first at the Provogo Casino in San Jacinto. Uh, on the TGB card, uh, he's six and three knockouts. He fought a total of five times in 2018 in nine months. So he pro debuted in March, and by and got another four fights by the time it was November. So he was moved very very well. He fought once again already this year on the Mikey Garcia versus Errol Spence card. Uh, full of credit to uh, Cynthia, and um, yeah, it's fight week for him. So he, he, he's in the gym. He's in Riverside. So if you want to follow him, go buy some tickets at, uh, at TGB uh, for the uh, Sabobo Casino. If you want to follow him, he's at Aaron underscore Morales. That's Morales with three S's. He is from Oklahoma City. Brian Lua, another top rank, uh, top rank fighter. No update on him. He's five and zero two knockouts at Brian underscore Lua. If you want to follow him, bring in B Fly Macias three and zero. Uh, he fought. Uh, uh, hopefully he lands on Legends Collide. Uh, his name hasn't been been thrown around too much in interviews and and, and on ES News, but hopefully, uh, hope he was one of the, he was one of the main attractions there. And um, even though he's he was from Phoenix, Arizona, um, he had he had I mean he had his his fight was exciting. He got a lot of attention. So if you want to follow him, he's at B underscore Fly three zero one. Bring in B Fly Macias from Goodyear, Arizona, the Phoenix area. Robert Biggie Rodriguez three and zero. From San Antonio, will be fighting along with Aaron Morales June first at Savova. Uh, he's at Biggie Junior underscore. If you want to follow him, 
is at BiggieJR underscore. He will also be fighting uh, with his stablemate, Jesse Bam Rodriguez, uh, July 27th in Floresville, Texas. So uh, I believe he fights at 112. Yeah, him and B-Flyer at 112. Isaac Kulunga. Uh, I did a little bit of, um, I talked a little bit about him. If you want to follow his story, it's at Kerry Kulunga. Uh, that's his mom or his aunt at Shelly underscore Shell 12 or a friend, a family friend at Dodger Girl 19. So the event, all the proceeds from Legends Collide will be uh, going to um, to his recovery effort. Uh, Mike Garcia is going to do a four-round exhibition with Eric Morales. So if you want to follow him, he's at team underscore Kalunga. And here you have a picture of him. There you see Robert sitting with, uh, with uh, Isaac's dad. And I believe... Uh, the, 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 I think that's Mikey with the, with the white hat on. And then on the right, you see uh, his dad walking alongside with him. Um, it says, update, the champ came out of surgery strong. He did well, feeling good and ready to finish the battle. Kalunga strong. God is good. And then this is a message from his brother Isaac, the true warrior. That boy makes me proud every day. That was a message from him. So his brother, I think it goes by Gunny. Benny, Benny Leon or something like that on Instagram. Alexis El Matizo Espino, 2 and 0, one knockout, uh, one on May 4th on the Canelo Jacobs undercard, so he improved to 2 and 0. He had a very tough opponent, so he didn't get a knock, knockout, uh, but he is promoted by Eddie Hearn's Matchroom Boxing. And uh, if you want to follow him, he's at underscore Alexis Espino 1. He fought at 165, he's trying to get down to 160. Uh, he fights out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Jeremy Magic Hands a Rodan, one and zero. He had his pro debut March thirtieth. Uh, we have not. We don't. I don't have any updates on him. He's at Magic Hands underscore Jeremy. If you want to follow him on Instagram. Evan Sanchez improves to five and zero with three knockouts. Uh, he is from Parlier, California. His family operates along with Al Perez of Central Valley RGBA. He fought March thirtieth in Tijuana. He also fought May twenty fifth in Tijuana, where he got a second round knockout. So uh, he. Evan Sanchez, 5 and 0, oh, at real Evan Sanchez on Instagram if you want to follow him. And there's a picture of him with his hand being raised there in, uh, in Tijuana. Ivan Garcia is the new addition to the team, 5 and 0, oh, 5 knockouts. He's from Paris. All his professional fights have been in Mexico. I believe two of them were in San Luis Rio, Colorado. Two of them were uh, in Mexicali, and one was in Rosarito. So another bantamweight added to the team, 118. He sparred Manny Flores. Uh, there's a rumor that he uh, hurt Manny Flores. Uh, in sparring, so Ivan Garcia, the newest team. I have no pictures of him. I have no link to his Instagram or Twitter or anything like that. So I'll keep I'll keep looking for that. Added to Legends Collide on June 23rd. That's a typo. The the new date is June 23rd. Jose Vivas from Texcoco, Mexico, and then Luis Coria, Manny Flores, Zina Lincona, Mikey, Danny Sanchez, and David Ortiz. Those last two fighters might be from uh, from Henry Ramirez, uh, Riverside Boxing. So the first quarter, January through March, the team was 23-4-1. The second quarter, they improved to 9-0. and uh, So with Brandon Glanton and Evan Sanchez winning this Saturday, the team's record improves to 32-4-1, and and then the amateur record for the year is 4-2. and uh, I'm going to be trying to put some stuff together on the amateur fighters. Um, I know some of them off the top of my head, but I want to, I want to put something a little bit more formal and a little bit more organized to um, to uh, market and advertise some of those amateur fighters. So, the photo credits to the official photographer of Team RGBA at Cumbia double A underscore, and to all the Instagram pages of the fighters, trainers, and managers who post updated pictures on their IG to allow us to keep updated on Team RGBA, especially uh, Ellie from ES News, uh, Rainbow from Teased by Rainbow. Frank Silva at Frantic underscore one and uh, and Cumbia, the uh, official photographer. I'm sure there's plenty I'm missing, but thank you to all the, those teams that help us stay updated on our GBA. I'm from Tail Media. Please like and subscribe. Uh, you can find me on YouTube. On Twitter, I'm at from Tail underscore media. On Instagram, I'm from Tail underscore media. Hope you like the video. More info coming soon.